Hello. In this video, we're going to make a candle votive holder with the wine corks, obviously. So, anyway, we have about 10. We have one candle votive, and we have like 10 corks. We put it all around here, all around this cork. This. and uh, just the way you want it because later you cannot move them around so make sure you put those corks uh, you know just the way you want it because later you cannot move them around so make sure they're perfect okay now we get those magic things that zip tight okay zip tight we zip tight right here and we sit tight on the other side okay and we make sure they're tight now this one we just place it on the side this one is ready for later I'm gonna show you later what we're going to do with this one right so make sure it's a zip tight right zip tight so let's turn it around Make sure, nice and tight. Put them on the side. Now what we do, we're gonna get a few corks. We're gonna make a base for this, all right? So what do we really need is a hot gun, hot glue gun. That's what I use every time, okay? So you put a little glue and make a little base for this candle holder or votive holder. Yeah. There's a little small candles for the table for a party. If you have a party in your house, you can make a little, you know, candle holder for the uh, table, for the dining table. So you put a little glue on each cork, right? Now I'm going to speed up the video, so it's going to be a little faster to get these things, the base going, okay? Okay, welcome back. Now I just put all the glue. I use about like one, two, three, four, four, eight, twelve corks for the base. So I can place this one right on top. Okay, so what we do, we, I put enough glue to make sure it's nice and firm at this part right here because it's going to be the base of the candle holder so you can place it you can put enough glue okay so what you really really need right now just to place this one right on top you can play you can take a pan and you can go all around the base so you have an idea because you need to be cut this part off Just go all around with later. You yeah, will have to cut this part off. Let's see. See. We can have an idea. Okay, now that we are here, don't worry if it's not perfect, because we're going to put a little ribbon, ribbon, like red ribbon, on the bottom. So you're not gonna see if it's perfect or not, right? So we're gonna hide that a little bit from your friend. Okay, so what we do, we take this part right here, 
that we just glue it together firmly and we take a knife and we start to cut this the part that we don't need off from the base so now you can take this one you can place it on top and see what we need okay you can even press on top and, and cut the bottom part right Not bad, huh? Not bad. So, okay, we're almost there. press firmly from the top to the bottom so you make sure that that you press on the base now remember on the bottom you're going to place a ribbon so we're not gonna see any of that you know the part that you don't like you know the part that is not too nice you're gonna cover with the ribbon Okay, so now that we are here and we already make the base, we are pretty done with the base. What we do, we take this part right here, the where is the candle, just push the candle a little more forward, gently, right? And you start to glue you start to glue the corks that they are inside slightly very slowly make sure you don't squeeze the part of the corks okay so you can start a little by little to glue them up there you can see right here you see just a little bit then now later we await that everything is going to be dry so we can we can start to draw dry we can start to glue all the corks now make sure you don't lose the shape right Keep turning around and keep putting a little bit of glue at a time. Now, what we can do, we take the base, put some glue on the base right here. Ok, 
okay and you kind of you know make sure the cork they are in the right place and and the, see what you can do you can put the votive like that the candle so you can have an idea how how it's going to be round okay you can leave it a little bit like that okay same time you already put the glue you make sure that you press it down a little bit so the glue is going to stick to the corks yeah so you can remove uh, the lid of the water see now as soon as this the, the glue is going to set a little bit just a little bit you can put you can take the candle out and you can start to make the inside of the corks uh, with the glue like that just between the corks uh, each cork you put a little bit of glue then it's going to drape down and make uh, and you're going to stick to each cork see i hope you can see with the camera okay for about five minutes you know? so the cor the corks will settle with the glue okay you can try to if you have a piece of a uh, piece of wood a piece of something make the glue a little flat you know? but anyway you're gonna have a candle inside so you're not gonna see the imperfection that they are inside the can the, the, the candle holder right okay after we are done with this, you can place your candle right inside, like that, okay? okay make sure this, the candle is nice and clean. After we are done with this, I will wait five minutes before I release the... Actually, you can tighten a little more, the zip tight, you know? I will wait a few minutes, about five minutes to release the zip tight, zip tight. Okay, so now what we can do, we can place a little glue around it, right? And we can right there. See? That will be perfect. We can place a little glue around it, the base and we can stick the we can stick the ribbon red ribbon so what we can do you don't really need to glue everything all around you just need to glue a little bit at the time a little bit at a time so just leave a little bit on the bottom okay a little bit but be careful with your finger because this hot this glue is very hot so it will stick to your finger for a few seconds it will stick to your finger huh? okay so now we keep going around right here we can place a little more glue if you wish you can place a larger ribbon It's all about you know what kind of style you're going to have in your table you can change it you can change the color of the rim the ribbon you can have a larger ribbon you can put a little bit of grape around the the ribbon hey, many many choices you can have Keep going. 
until you're out of the ribbon. Don't pull it too much or the ribbon is going, is going to stretch and it will not be nice. So try to leave a little loose, the ribbon a little bit loose, but not much. See, be gentle. Okay, that's how you can make a candle holder, votive holder. So now is the time we can take the zip tie off. So that's how you can make.